Sunday last weekend. So uh, many churches such as my, my own will have done that. And uh, therefore it's a joy to invite you to ask to pray for one moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the lives of each of those who are <coughs> Father, each one of them was created by you. Although many years have passed since these world wars, we remember these lives here still today. And we say thank you for their sacrifice made as members of the British Armed Forces. Thank you for the freedom of which we know today as a result of their sacrifice. Father of mercies, God of all comfort, we pray today for all those who continue to suffer because of war. We think of widows, orphans, refugees, Shake, Mayor, and distinguished guests and friends. Ten hours ago, I was in the Kingdom of Bahrain, participating in the Manama Dialogues. This is a leading global forum for the Middle East and its near neighbours. It's where foreign and defence ministers and senior security and defence leaders meet to discuss the most important of defence and security matters. The overriding concern within the region now was a, one of Western abandonments. The overriding need was for closer relationships. This is great power competition, proliferation of technology, excessive regional, religious, or territorial ambitions, challenges to sovereignty, or our way of life were all indisputable factors. But as with the majority of complex issues, the answer is simple. It can be found in our history. Simply, it's our responsibility, our obligation, and our duty to repay the support and, if necessary, the sacrifice provided to us in our times of need by the Muslim community. The practice that I mentioned before about today's challenges are the very same threats that those who were buried here faced in 1914, their colleagues in 1938, and to a or lesser extent, continuously beyond. We must never forget that those who were buried here were a small number of the estimated 2.5 million Muslims who fought on our side during the First World War, or the 5 million Muslims that came to our aid during World War II. It is not possible to even estimate those who have served since. Although they didn't realise it at the time, they were pioneering the that we hold here now. Those are forming a coalition of willing, a coalition of people of all religions, beliefs, as they are today. They set the standard that we use today. Indians, Pakistanis, Moroccans, Tunisians, Russians, Algerians, Somalis, Americans, Egyptians, and a host of others who identified themselves simply as North Africans or sub Saharan African Muslims.
Algerian soldier wrote home in 1916. I swear by God and by that which we hold sacred, I will never stop saying my prayers. I will never abandon the National War Memorial Trust with the War Memorial Trust. On behalf of all those who serve proudly alongside Muslim comrades, past, present today, and in the future, I thank you for your incredible work and I'm honoured to be alongside you. In 2015, Woking wanted to preserve this historical burial ground to make it a monumental place. We are very grateful to Woking Brad Council and, in particular, Dr. Zachary Clark, who, along with the British Army and the British Conference Society, pioneered this project. Woking Brad Council holds annual service in the Commission of the Muslim Soldiers and the Princes from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh by commission are invited to take part. And I hope that you know, we continue to hold this annual service for many, many years to come. Similar to Lord Shay, I just wanted to recognize the contribution of my Lord Richard in the wars and pledge a uh, memorial place where we could come together to pay our respects. And I am pleased to say that with the assistance of former council Lord Kingsbury and leader of the council at the time, we now have a memorial board in the centre of Nap Hill. In conclusion, I want to thank Lady Shea for continuing to let us work with you. I 
tell the story because I think it illustrates the point that I feel is often, too often overlooked in this country. We must all recognize that so many of our people have all that served in the eight Indian divisions in the Italian campaign. We salute you, sir, for your service and for your courage. Fellow soldiers and honored guests, Jai Hind and a very good afternoon to all of you. At the outset, I would like to offer my deepest condolences to you. Lord Sheikh was a remarkable human being who was so very inclusive in his nature, his efforts, that I am truly humbled speaking about him. May God Almighty rest his noble soul in peace. We need humans and prominent leaders like him to bring all of us together. And I believe It is indeed my honor to present the High Commissioner of India and the Indian Army at this very proud memorial service. Today, we pay homage to the heroic struggles and significant contribution of Indian Army soldiers who fought in both world wars. Indeed, a saga of supreme courage and enormous sacrifice. As we remember all our heroic forebears, let me quote from the gift of India, that's the poem, the gift of India, written in 1915, 1915 by Sarojini Naidu, who is well known as the Nightingale of India. Lo, I have flung to the east and the west, priceless treasures and yielded the sons of my stricken womb to the drum beats of the duty, the sabers of doom, gathered like pearls in their alien graves, silent they sleep by the Persian waves, scattered like shells on Egyptian sands, they lie with pale brows and brave broken hands. They are strewn like blossoms borne down by chance on the blood brown meadows of Flanders and France. We salute the forebears and remember them for their sacrifice. Thank you, Jack.
ठीक है
They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years be done. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Thank you. 
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Okay, now we'll commence the laying of the reefs. So just give us a couple of minutes while we get the camera sorted out.
such as Liu Benaya Khan, who was awarded the George Cross. He was particularly keen to educate the young on the contributions of the Muslims in schools and colleges. He was working with two schools in Rochdale, where the children were working on projects about their Finish up the journey. Gathered like pearls in their alien graves, silent they sleep by the Persian waves. Scattered like shells on Egyptian sands, they lie with pale brows and grave broken hands. They are strewn. Yeah. <laughs> 
Can you take a picture of me? I'll go and stand there. I'll go and stand there. Hello, sir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sajid Muhammad Hussain. Indian Auburn Call 6 initial answer. And then, when Pakistan, I transferred to Pakistan Army. I was in Italy in the Second World War. I have three German prisoners, one war officer and two soldiers. They ask me, they offer me a lot of Lira Italian cash and golden watches, but I refuse. I said, no, I don't want it. I come for the fight, not for the Lira. And after one hour, my armored car was leading as a reconnaissance regiment, and the wooden bridge was on 10 miles far from Florence, Italy. And when the general retired, he put the petrol on and shut the fire, but I was an armed instructor. What I done, high explosive, 20 shell I fired in the river, when it burst and the water jumped up, so I saved the bridge as well. And the British and what did not stop, continue. This was my service. Mashallah. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum ji. Zafar Iqbal mera naam hai. Uh, I just recently retired from working for a council and uh, we, mera, it's been a privilege and honor for me to be involved with uh, re-renovating this uh, site. Uh, and to actually remember the Muslim soldiers who actually took part in World War One and World War Two. Uh, it's a great honor uh, for us to actually be here and remember those people who gave their lives for this country. And this should be a key part of the school curriculum in this country to, so that people understand the contribution made by many different communities uh, who are actually now living in this country. Thank you, Ji. And Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are all gathered here today to celebrate the Muslim contribution to World War I and World War II. 
and there were 26 soldiers buried in this ground uh, which were moved to the uh, military cemetery at Brookwood and the contribution of the Muslims in the First World War and the Second World War is recognized through some of these celebrations we have. Um, we are grateful to Woking Borough Council and, and the councillors in Woking to, who put up this mon mon monument to celebrate that contribution. And long may it continue and also we further continue with the celebrations of Muslims in the British Armed Forces. Thank you very much. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's uh, my privilege to uh, have, have everybody at Woking Peace Garden. This is a peace garden where we um, had the Muslim soldiers buried from two world wars. And in 1968, the uh, Muslim uh, bodies were taken away from here to Brookwood Cemetery. Uh, I'm really grateful for the uh, uh, National War Memorial, Muslim National War Memorial Trust who have taken this initiative to uh, try and educate the, uh, the rest of the world about the Muslims' contribution in the two world wars and continuing Muslim contribution in the armed forces. Thank you. Um, we're privileged to be here today at the Peace Gardens in Woking. Um, it's been lovely to commemorate all the Muslim soldiers who fought for England um, and we're, we are really lucky to have this place in Woking. I'll repeat no, myself. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Warrant Officer Shaw Kumar Chahan. Uh, today uh, it's a moral service at the Muslim Barrow Ground. Thrilly and proud to, and the, for the late Lord Sheikh. What a great event and a great turnout and with the weather being so good. Take it. Thank you, Joe. Oh, no, you know what? Yes, no, don't want to get told off. Tixi? Does he want to say something? Do you need to say I'll get somebody. somebody. Ik Ikra. Um, can we just ask this? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's correct. What's this this will say whatever you wish to, <laughs> as long as it's not rude. <laughs> yeah, no, I can do rude. I can do rude. That's what okay. I said. It. <laughs> You're the cheeky type. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to say a few words uh, in the camera, please. Um, uh, <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. okay. Go ahead, please. Today, and we thank all those who have come, knowing that in Islam we do recognize and value uh, the lives of those who have uh, given their cause for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in the Quran, uh, with regard to the people who have uh, uh, left this world in the path of Allah. لا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أموات بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون Do not consider those people who have been killed in the course of Allah as dead. They are alive uh, with their Lord being receiving their sustenance. So we ask Allah to bless all those who uh, have lost their lives in the course of uh, various causes of, of, uh, of, uh, of God and we ask Allah as well to bless us all. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is uh, Major Rudra Khanaka. Uh, I'm uh, from a Queenstown Gurkha Logistic Regiment, working in um, a regional command. I'm so honoured to be invited here for this um, very, very special occasion for the memorial parade. And um, uh, this is my first uh, public engagement. I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm very kind uh, and very grateful and um, honoured to be invited. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Yes. Um, Lord Sheikh was extremely um, dedicated to commemorating the contributions of Muslims, particularly in the two world wars and subsequent uh, conflicts. This is why he wanted to form the National Muslim War Memorial Trust to highlight this and uh, the significant role that the Muslims have played and continue to play in the British Armed Forces. He also wanted to highlight the contributions of Muslims, women such as Noor Nayat Khan, who was awarded the George Cross. He was particularly keen to educate the young on the contributions of Muslims in schools and colleges. colleges. 
he was working with two schools in Rochdale where the children were working on projects about their grandparents who had fought for the British Empire. Although Lord Sheikh is no longer with us, I hope that we all, especially the younger generation, will follow in his footsteps with the same passion and dedication. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, good afternoon, Assalamu alaikum, Namaste, Sasrikal to everyone. Um, today we come at the end of the day, we are here with our Muslim parents, who have been in our life in Britain, in World War I and in World War II. We have been here with our most important work, in the walking, and we have been here with our respect. We have been here with a lot of history. Ikra is going to talk about more, more about that. जो कल के जो कल के गुजरे हुए वक्त से सीख के आज आगे बढ़ते हैं ना वो कभी नीचे नहीं गिरते तो इसीलिए इम्पोर्टेंट ये है कि जो हम कल से सीख के आज आए हैं उसे भूलिए नहीं कि कल हुआ क्या था क्योंकि जो आज की सच्चाई है वो ये है कि हमारे पास ये हक और ये फ्रीडम इसीलिए है हमारे पास इस बात का हक है कि हम अपने लफज आगे रख सकें अपनी ज़िंदगी के फैसले खुद कर सकें लेकिन वो हक हमें इसी मिला क्योंकि ہم سے پہلے کسی نے وہ جنگیں لڑی تھی زندگیاں دی تھی تاکہ وہ آج ہمارے پاس فریڈم ہو اور اسی لیے ہم یہاں پر آج کھڑے ہیں تاکہ ہم انہیں یاد کر سکیں جنہوں نے ہماری فریڈم کے لیے لڑائی دی تینک یو جس طرح منیش اور اکرا نے گل کیتی ہے کہ اسی آج اتھے جو ساڑے بزرگ سے جنہوں نے شہادتان دے کے سانو اے مقام دیتا ہے کہ اسی آج ایک بہت بہت بہتری لائف نو جی سک دیا بٹ اے ساڑے لی یاد رکھنا ضروری ہے کہ جو انہوں نے حالاتا دے ویچ بنا کسے ریوارڈ دے یا بنا کسے مطلب دے جو شہادتان دیتی ہیں انہیں اسی اس لیگیسی نو کے کیری فورورڈ کرنا ہے سو اے سلائی فیوچر دے ویچ اسی اے چیز نو جو ایک مقام جو کر کے جنہی زیادہ سی ایڈوکیشن یا ویرنس اپنی ینگ جنریشن ہو دے سکتے یا ایس لیگسی نو فورورڈ کرنا واسطے او بہت بہترین ہے سو پلیز ڈو سپورٹ اس ان دے فیچر اچھا میں میں کہنا میں میں تھا پورا پورا نقشہ کھچ رہا ہے اچھا چلو ٹھیک ہے میں میں اچھا پر میں انگلیش ہی کال کر سکتا ہوں کرو جس مکس کر دیلے نا اچھا میں میں کوشش کر رہا ہوں اچھا ٹھیک ہے میں کوشش کر رہا ہوں ٹھیک ہے 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 ٹھیک ہے
Asia. So they fought on many different fronts and um, they gave their lives. Soldiers from America, from New Zealand, from Australia always have a remembrance and they've been remembered for so long. But unfortunately, the Muslim soldiers who amassed more than 5 million when we look at South Asia, the Middle East and other areas where they came from need that recognition. And I think it's about time the national curriculum had a special amendment for the Muslim soldiers, um, especially those that came from South India.